Good morning everyone. This is going to be my third attempt at making my infamous or, yeah, my infamous uh, EDC video. Um, my EDC is not weapons heavy. My EDC is, is a little bit different from everybody else. And it mine's more organization than it is uh, weapons or survival or anything like that. It's stuff that I use pretty much every day. And, uh, you know, I, most places I go to, I can't carry no gun in anyway, so I don't even worry about carrying it. If I go someplace that I think I'm going to put myself in a position that, that I'm going to need something like that, then, yeah, I usually have it with me. Normally, I try to stay out of those, those situations or places that I'm going to have to worry about having a gun with me. Okay, get on with it because the first first video I made uh, YouTube rejected it said it was too long so this is going to be a three-part series I already know that without a doubt okay moving right on into it hey okay. first thing I carry this is actually what I carry on my person however I have a bag that I, I carry with me also uh, my girlfriend she calls it my man purse and that's I reckon that's what everybody calls them but yeah that goes it goes everywhere with me. Uh, it doesn't matter if I'm going into the doctor's office or if I'm going into the hospital, if I'm going into into the courthouse. Just about everywhere I go, that the bag goes with me. Uh, minus if I'm running into Walmart or something like that to pick up groceries or something. Uh, I won't take that in with me. Uh, okay. The first thing we got here is go over challenge coin I think most everybody it's a veteran or whatever I think most everybody carries a challenge coin or even a lot of civilians jobs and stuff like that now they give out challenge coins for like employee of the month or whatever but this is mine right here this is the one I'm carrying right now I have probably about 20 of them or so but this is the one I'm carrying now this is a uh, 321 field artillery uh, this is years and years ago I back in uh, 82nd uh, they don't change names now. Uh, done. This unit right here no, is no longer active unless they reactivated in the last 15 years or so. I don't know. Uh, I got a couple of these. That I'm pretty proud of. I got one one by uh, General Hugh Shelton. I got one by the defense, Israeli Defense Prime Minister. Uh, those two I'm pretty proud of. Okay. Next thing I got is I always. When I used to go go into the VFW a lot or go into bars and stuff like that, I used to do origami uh, dollar or five dollar bills to give us tips. Uh, then most of the bartenders and a lot of times the waitresses, they really get a kick out of getting the origami uh, 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 bills as tips. They probably take them home and give them to the children or whatever. But anyway. Uh, Next thing I'm going to go over is billfold. I carry a, a nylon billfold. I used to carry uh, leather, but when we were doing, when I was in the Army, we did ruck marches or did a lot of lot of marching and everything like that. Leather wore a blister on my butt, so somebody suggested I try, try nylon. And since I've gone to nylon, I ain't had, never had no problem with that since then. I have never gone back to leather and probably will always stay with nylon. Okay, I'm not going to open this up. The only thing else I've got in here that I haven't already taken out, so I'm going to show you, is I keep spare keys, house house key, and, and spare keys to my trucks. Okay. Of course, i got my keys. Everybody carries their little keys with them. I try to keep my keys light. I don't like a lot of, a lot of stuff on my key ring. Reason being is because summertime I wear sweat shorts. And if you put a lot of, a lot of stuff on your keys when you put your keys down in your sweatshorts, they want to fall off of you. So I try to keep my keys as light as possible. The next thing I have is I do carry a little uh, Tool Logic survival card in my billfold. I used to carry through this through customs all the time. Never had no problem. Of course, a lot of that I think is because being active duty military, most of the time they didn't they didn't check us or anything that much. Uh, when I finally did remember it was one day when I was trying to go into courthouse and they found it in my billfold told me I couldn't carry it so no problem I took it back out to my truck okay on here they got a small compass magnifying glass uh, you have a 
Let me see if I can get it out. I ain't got no fingernails right now. Now you got got a little toothpick or a pick. I, I reckon you use it as a toothpick. Yeah. And you got uh, tweezers. You got your small tweezers. These tweezers ain't all that good, but I reckon they work. That's the reason why I had put it, putting it in wrong. I reckon it only goes in one way. I don't normally take those out. Um, right here, you have your can opener and a flat tip screwdriver right here. Now this can opener does a great job. I mean, most of the, most of the knives and, and metal parts on this this card, they're they're definitely sharp and they work real well. Uh, this knife right here, it slides out from from the end. And I tell you, even though I don't like serrated blades, this knife is is sharp, sharp. I try not to use this too much because I don't want to have to try to sharpen it. I've never been good at sharpening uh, serrated blades, so I try not to use it if I can. So I carry several other knives with me, so I don't never have to worry about using this very rarely. Okay, there. And on the back here, I mean, it's got your centimeter measurements. It's got your your inches, centimeters. It's got a little key keyhole right here. I keep it in the pocket in my billfold. It fits right right in here, fine. You ain't, don't have to worry about about it fitting in there. You don't even know what's in your billfold. It's so thin. Okay. Next thing, I always carry a pen in my pocket. Uh, this is the pen I'm currently using. I was using one of these. Uh, Uzi, Uzi tactical pins, but this this just too heavy for me. And plus, uh, I don't like having to unscrew it and screw it to get the pin part out. And if you keep it in your pocket, it's real bad about getting a lint up inside inside where the the cartridge is itself. I'll I'll do a review on this uh, later. I hadn't had this too awfully long, but I know in probably the month that I did carry it, it's just too heavy in my pocket. Um. Next thing is I carry a original Leatherman. I think I got this Leatherman back in back in the mid 80s. I know it was right after they first come out with them. Uh, this one here, it's uh, got a few arcs on it where soldiers down in the motor pool or something, instead of grabbing a, a wrench like they should have had, they asked me if I had something with me. I'd let them use this. I tried to tell them not to use it for batteries, but. I, once they insist on using it for batteries, I'd stand back and watch and laugh if they got art, got hit real good. Okay, this is a sheath I have for it. It's a nylon sheath. I put a hole in the back of, back of here because I carry it on my uh, belt loop instead of on my belt. So that way I can take it on and take it off real quick. I carry a, a safety pin inside here. inside here. I used to carry some other things in here, but I took them out. Now this... This I've been carrying, like I say, probably since the mid 80s. I used to carry it on my LC, used to carry it upside down. I'd carry it right here on my harness, and uh, it always served a purpose for me. I gave this away years ago, and uh, and believe it or not, the person that I give it to, they knew that it was kind of sentimental value that I'd had it so long. It's gone on almost every real world mission I've ever gone on, so. Uh, I was lucky enough that the person I give it to, they, they, they respect me enough and they give it back to me. Okay, next thing is, I'm a big geek on, uh, like I say, organization. And this right here, I always carry in my back left pocket. And it's nothing but 3 by 5 cards. Of course, I've got them marked, uh, my to-do, my calendar list, and all that. I always, I always have this because I like making, making notes real quick. I, I don't try to remember a bunch of stuff. I write it down. And this is the quickest and easiest way I have to write it down. Okay, and that's pretty much all that, that goes in my pockets. And I'm going to move right on along real quick. Let me move this stuff out of the way. So that way I can open my man purse. My man purse, as girlfriend calls it. Probably all, probably all of our wives, anybody, any guy that carries a, a bag or anything like that, their wives probably call it the man purse. Okay, right here, the first pocket I carry is... I carry my organizer or my day planner. I used to carry a regular day runner, but I just got this right here. 
It's a uh, calendar. I've been using this for about a month and a half. So far, I really, really like this. Uh, uh, I'm gonna be doing a review on this because I, I do do a lot of organization type stuff. Just easier for me to remember if I write everything down uh, instead of trying to remember it in my head. Okay, let's go ahead and open the bag up. Some of this you've already seen in here. However, it's, it is part of my EDC. Now this bag, this bag is actually, it's uh, made by American Tourister. It's actually a toiletry bag. It's got the plastic bags in it, and every, or the plastic pockets in it. I really like it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to take out is my iPad. I don't need to say too much. This is how I communicate most times by email. And this goes just about everywhere with me. And the reason why I use I don't use this to write notes is because trying to get into the app real fast and get into the typing app and everything while somebody's trying to talk to me, especially if it's a doctor or a lawyer or whoever I'm working with at the time, it's just quicker to write it than it is. And then I usually transfer all my notes either from my my three by five cards or my my organizer I transfer all the notes over in here because this is what I keep beside of me when I'm in the house okay I'm gonna stop this video for right right here and start up on the second second part and I'll see you back when we start again